Hi guys, it's Dee Dee. I just wanted to come on. Oh, look, there's Macy. Just getting lunch. Um, I wanted to show you um, what I'm making for dinner really quick. So hold on. Fingers crossed it gets cooked in time. Okay, <laughs> so I promised my husband roast beef for dinner and I forgot to take it out of the freezer. Okay, so I have a frozen solid chuck roast in here, and then I just added some um, extra beef tips I had because never enough beef when I make it. And I just threw in three bay leaves, chunked some carrots in there just for flavor because it's not beef stew. It's just the pot roast that I'm looking to make. And then salt and pepper, obviously. And then if I can one-handedly open this. Do you need any help? So I'm gonna do beef broth. Just enough to like cover it and then I like to make some gravy. So I'll just add in probably like half of that. And then guys, I have some leftover herb and onion. So our herbs don't come like this. They come in little, obviously, containers like that. But this is our leftover um, herbs that I got with my Taste Buds subscription, which is basically once a month you get a... Um, may me open that for me, baby. Once a month you get like three spices and three recipes. You get access to a special... Um, group that we have where we share more tips and tricks and recipes with the spices and so basically it answers that question what's for dinner mm -hmm. but these are what i have left over so i'm going to use it in here because i actually really I love yeah the herb and onion it's really great for roast it's also great for chicken um i've put it on potatoes before so that's what i like about the Pampered Chef spices, because they don't just have, like, cumin or, you know, garlic salt. Hold on, sweetheart. They have them curated together in a pack so you know what to use. So this one has, like, salt, dehydrated onions, garlic, other spices, bell pepper, garlic powder, celery, dehydrated leek, sour cream flavor. I would compare this to, like, a Lipton onion type of seasoning. So anyways, I have my quick cooker here. I just put all of that in there. Sorry for just coming on here and not having my tripod and just holding you guys on here. <laughs> anyways, so I'm gonna set it to, I'm probably gonna do custom, I think, because let's see, it's 2.15. I'm probably, I'm going to do it for, I'm going to do an hour. I know it probably won't take that long, but basically it would just take longer if you did like the custom settings for it to come to temp, even though it's frozen solid. But that's why I love my quick cooker. Um, saves my butt when I forget to put out something um, when it's frozen solid. But the other reason that I love it is because um, I can cook stuff in here and it stays warm until we're ready to eat it. So I can throw my meal in here and it will cook it and then keep it warm until we open it up and we're ready to go. It also has steamer baskets. It can sear. And my favorite, Macy Catherine. And my favorite thing besides that is it does double duty. So it has this glass lid, right? So it's a slow cooker too. So I don't have to have a crock pot and my quick cooker. I can just have my quick cooker. So... Love to know what you guys are having for dinner. Um, if you watched live, comment live. If you watched replay, comment replay. And definitely share, guys. Bye.